Hey YouTube, Wagwan, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna replace the door latch actuator. Um, this car got shot and it went through the door lock actuator. You will see it when I get intro. 2019 and down. So first thing first, we gotta take off this cover right here. You can use a flathead screwdriver, just pry along the edges and it will come off. And also guys, please like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel and also support the channel with the links in the description. And I will also try to put the, um, the parts, if I can find the parts and the tools down in the description so you guys can go down there. So guys, um, what you're going to do now is flathead screwdriver pray along the edges you have some clips there you gotta pry out so got this support out that's good the next step is to pry up on this so this is soft so you can go between here pry up on that pry right around it's gonna come up once it come up you can unplug the switch just like that so this is the switch right here you gotta squeeze this part right here and pull back on it and it's gonna unplug just like that so this is a this is a bolt, um, a 10 millimeter or a Phillips screw. So I got my 10 millimeter right there. We're gonna take that off, and also this right here. We gotta try and pry up on this to get this part off, and with that the door panel is ready to come off because we have to take off the door panel to get into where the door lock actuator is because this is the door lock actuator right here so now we got to find the groove so there's an empty where your finger can go we can just give it a nice little tug it's gonna come off so you go right around and give keep on give it a nice little tug right around and then you can take it off look like somebody been in here before because you can see how this stay but anyway we gotta pull this back and now on the inside you can see this that the window guide right here we gotta remove this 10 millimeter to remove the window guide. Hard to just lower it down because the the latch won't be able to pass it. And then we just pull down on it and swing it forward. So once we swing it forward, we're gonna have access to the the regulator. Not the regulator, but the, um, this right here, the door latch actuator. The door latch in one. So, this right here is the T30 torque. We're gonna have three of them back here. So guys, also what you want to do is just squeeze this, unplug the door, this one is kind of hard but, let me squeeze it, alright here we go, so basically I gotta squeeze this right here. Let's squeeze this and unplug that. Then we're gonna finish take out the 
I'm gonna finish take out the the torch. Alright guys, so just gonna take these three out. I already take one out already. Now we can bring this forward. Just like this. And you can see where the bullet break the cable right here. see where something break right here from the bullet if you look in there you can see where the green stuff is that's where the bullet came in from like this green stuff right here but this is damaged so you're gonna get another one I'm gonna put I'm gonna install this we're gonna do is remove this right here it's also 10 millimeter so once you take out the 10 millimeter you're gonna just slide it back and it's gonna come out Just push these through, find the grooves, take that out. Same thing on this one. Put that away safely. <laughs> and then what we gotta do is take out this inner piece. So we have a Phillips screw right there that we see so far. So let's do that. So actually that um that light don't really look like it's from that Philip don't look like it's from the um from the actual door panel it's from the handle itself so, um, take that off take that off this one we gotta take this one out too we gotta take that off. So basically, guys, we just gotta squeeze this and squeeze this to unplug it. All right. So once that's done, we can take out the handle. Even though it's missing this piece already, somebody already take that out. So that's the fillet you were seeing. But to take that piece out, you have to take this out right here. Unscrew that and take this part out. But when I'm going to put it back together, I will be putting in piece right here. So you will see how that goes. that said bring it back bring it so you want to bring it back like this and it's gonna come out and you can just unhook this these wire that's clipped into here okay so now we got this part out we're gonna go get another part and we're gonna install it there take out that the other part should come with this and the cable so I'm gonna go get it so guys we have this one right here we have this one is the broken one so you can see that right there versus this so we're gonna go ahead and install it back onto this one right here so what you're gonna do is reverse the process of putting it back. So you wanna push that down till it lock into place. You're gonna 
go in the car like this. So let's go ahead and put that back in. So we're gonna put it up in place, make sure those little thing goes in and slide it forward. Once you slide it forward, you want to get these little rubber things because these are what really lock it so it don't move back and forth. So, so once you lock these, you know that part is secure. It won't go anywhere. Same thing for this right here. Our next step is to put this in. So line up the screws and then you want to catch them. So guys um got these in they are nice and tight and this we can start plugging these stuff back in after we put the after we put the so we put the door handle in, we can start plugging these back in. Put that over there so the window does so it doesn't get caught on the window. So we just need to push these wires through. this so once we get that in what we can do is start plugging up the wires that come from this So guys, um, everything is back right there. Now we just gotta put this back and we'll line it up. up there. Make sure it's lined up here. Put a screw in there and tighten that. So once you do that, make sure that is good. And then what we're doing is making sure that we catch the grooves correctly. Get these running through there. Set this back. No, just want to get this and fix these back properly so you want to make sure you have it in the groove like that bring it right around line it up right here and then you just lock it in same thing for this so there you go so now put it in slide it forward right there so guys what we're gonna do now is put this back on so we gotta hook it first we gotta hook it at the top first Once we hook it at the top, it will just fall down into place. And then we just gotta find where the clips line up at. 
this. Top it on, and also make sure you have your wires for your switch come up. All right, guys. So next step we're gonna do is put this back on, put this piece on. need my two hand for that and also I need to catch this right here so I'm gonna put those two things on and then I'll get back to you on the video and also want to check your window make sure the window still work everything is nice and tight so these are just blue from whosoever went in there first not from me and put this piece back on send it to get cleaned up and that's it but not this one peace out guys see you next time like comment share subscribe to the channel peace out so basically guys yeah I forget to show you this screw that in Put that in, screw that in. It's the same 30 on um, T30 torque right here. In there. Clean this up. Peace out.